Yo, what is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm going to be breaking down a top surgery survival list that I have compiled because I did have surgery November 29th of last year, and I highly remember how uncomfortable I was, how much I wanted items that I did not have available to me, and how much I wanted to help other people that were going to be in a similar situation as me. But before I get into that list, make sure if you're new here, new as in not subscribed, you go ahead and press that subscribe button down below to help my channel grow. If you are interested in one-on-one personal training, a meal plan, or a training plan, make sure you go ahead and email me at devindoescoaching at gmail.com. Some of these items you may have heard already, but there are also some items on this list that I did not hear anybody mention and that I really actually used. I had my girlfriend go out and grab these or order them Amazon Prime because I needed them ASAP. Now, the first thing on the list is going to be meal prep. If you don't fucking meal prep, I don't care. You're going to want to meal prep for at least five days after top surgery. The reason for this is if someone around you is not able to cook for you or they don't simply have the time, but you're going to want to have meals on hand that you enjoy that are going to be nutritious because you're going to need energy, you're going to need micronutrients in order to heal and have as much energy as possible and you're not going to want to spend a grip on food you're not going to want to blow a bag on food door dashing food uber eating food and obviously you're not going to be able to drive so please 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 meal prep even if it's something super simple as like chicken rice and broccoli or if you want to make spaghetti or sandwiches or anything like that just make sure that you have easy microwavable food on hand that you're able to have after top surgery that's not going to fuck up your stomach obviously you want to stay away from spicy shit you want to stay away from acidic stuff just very basic very easily digestible very simple foods the next thing is going to be popsicles like those sugar-free ice pops or like those 75 cent pop things that come in that bag i really suggest having popsicles as well as warm tea on hand because i personally got a breathing tube while i was under and i think that that's common practice most individuals do get a breathing tube while they're under so they can fucking breathe while they're getting surgery that breathing tube made my throat sore as fuck where i was talking super raspy like my throat fucking hurt <laughs> because it was shoved down my esophagus and something that helped with that pain big time was going between having the ice cold pop and then having the warm tea and because it felt like I had strep for that first day it was hardcore wet wipes because you're not able to shower for I believe the first five days I don't think I showered for the first seven days that's kind of disgusting but because you're not able to shower you're still gonna want to be able to clean yourself especially your armpits you're not really able to raise your arms super high probably to about there paper towels are not gonna get the job done so invest in some nice probably nice quality wet wipes so that you can clean yourself because I was stink as fuck cleaning yourself behind your ears okay wet wipes are going to be the the way to go. You don't want to annihilate the washcloths that you have at home because that stink is a different type of stink. I probably went through like three packages of wet wipes while I was recovering from top surgery. So make sure you grab that. Now, another thing that is not necessarily an item, but something that helped me out big fucking time was putting everything that I needed low on countertops so that I could reach, like on my desk, on my countertops that are low because like I said, you're not able to reach up. I didn't really do this movement and it still feels weird until like maybe two months post-op and I still don't like to do that. So I made sure the night before I got surgery, everything that I needed, like water bottles, my laptop, my phone, sauces for my food, and then the follow up to making sure that everything is low is on the off chance that you did forget to place something low, make sure you have a grabber tool. I personally use tongs, but that didn't do the job as well as it could have been done. Having a grabber tool is really gonna serve a great purpose just in case you do need to grab something from up high. That grabber tool can be your proxy, okay? Make sure that you have a shit ton. I don't just mean one or two, I mean a shit ton. I probably have eight zip ups and button ups shirts because you're not going to be able to you know do overhead movements to pull a shirt on top of yourself so you really want to have zip ups and button ups and I don't suggest only having button ups and I don't suggest only having zip ups because you're going to have to rotate through these clothes very fucking often I was living in those shirts for the first four weeks after top surgery and I got fucking tired of them so make sure you have some variety there it's going to be your fashion for the time being so make sure that you stock up on those Walmart can be your friend thrift stores can be your friend a huge thing we've heard a lot is you're not going to be able to shit. I personally was bloated like a fucking puffer fish. I was not able to shit for like the first two days. So I did use Dolcolax and that made my shit very runny, but it did get out of my system. Make sure that you have some type of laxative on hand. You're going to want to have a neck pillow. When I was trying to sleep that first day post-op, I could not get comfortable. You have to lay on your back and most of us do not sleep on our backs. So having that neck support really helped me get into position and made me comfortable enough to sleep. Just now, about four months post-op, have I stopped sleeping? 
sleeping on my back. The next item on this list might sound funny to y'all. I got super long straws because you're not able to once again raise your arms. So this looks totally Yo, wrong, but you're not going to be able to like hold a cup to your face and drink water or hold a bottle to your face and drink water. So what you are going to want to be able to do is just pop a long straw into whatever you're trying to drink. It can reach your face without you having to expend yourself. And the last item, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't recommend this, a bunch of low calorie snacks because you're going to be bored. You're going to be watching TV. You're going to be watching movies and you're going to be like, yo, I want to eat something. I want to graze right now. And while we don't want to be like super health conscious, obviously be nice to yourself. You just had surgery. It was a very intense thing and you want to, you know, have some support, but maybe we don't want to gain an excessive amount of weight after top surgery because that can just compound the negative effects you may be feeling. So some nice low calorie snacks that you're able to have without racking up in calories is going to be great on a low surface so that you're able to watch your movie, have a snack, enjoy yourself and just recover in a nice and, you know, comfortable way. That's going to be the ultimate thing. That's why I created this list. That's why I created this video is so that you're able to be as comfortable as possible. If you guys have anything to add to that list, please drop it down below so that you can help somebody else out. If you are interested in one-on-one coaching where I can perhaps get you prepared for top surgery, feel free to email me at devindiscoaching at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram where I post my thirst traps. And like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a dawn and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.